Good morning, and thank you for joining me at Online Storytime with the Blue Gable Public Library. My name is Miss Amanda, and I'm one of the librarians here. Today, we are going to sing some songs and read a book about eggs. Let's get started by singing the more we get together. I'll sing it two times, so you can listen the first time if you don't know it, and then you can sing with me the second time. Here we go. The more we get together to We're gonna play a game next. We're going to try to find the chick. Let me put my ukulele away and then we'll do that. Okay, now we're gonna look for, actually I said it was a chick, but it's not a chick, it's a duck. We're gonna look for our baby duckling. He's in an egg. Let's see what color eggs we have here. We have red, purple, green, orange, and blue. So let's see, let's check this one first. What color is this one? That's right, red. <gasps> little duck, little duck, are you in the red egg? Let's see, crack, crack. <gasps> no duck there. Let's try this one next. What color is this? Purple, that's right. All right, little duck, little duck, are you in the purple egg? no little duck in the purple egg. We'll try the orange egg next. Little duck, little duck, are you in the orange egg? Crack, crack, crack. <gasps> There's no duck there. All right, we have two eggs left. Let's try this one. <gasps> little duck, little duck, are you in the green egg? There's only one egg left. What color is it? Blue, that's right, here we go. Little duck, little duck, are you in the blue egg? Crack, crack, crack. There's the little duck, we found him. Give yourself a round of applause. Next, we're going to read a book called Shake a Leg Egg. This is written and illustrated by Kurt Cyrus, and we're reading it with permission from Simon & Schuster. Let's get started. Now, before we played that game where we were looking for the duckling, this book is about a different kind of baby bird that grows inside an egg. This is about a gosling, which is a baby goose. Let's see. Shake a leg, egg. Hello in there. Are you aware? long we've all been waiting. Coots are circling, nosy crows are calling and debating. You see the little birds in the water and in the tree? What's the holdup? No one knows. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. See, here's the mama goose, and here are her baby goslings. There's one, two, three, four, but they're waiting for number five to hatch. Buds are bursting open, sprouts are breaking through, eggs are hatching everywhere. There's some little eggs in the nest up here, and this mama bird duck, her baby, Ducklings all hatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ducklings. But let's see if our gosling egg has hatched. <gasps> Not yet. Oh, come on, little gosling egg. You can do it too. 
all around you, life is brimming. Swimming, slapping, honking, flapping. Got all sorts of animals here. There's birds and there's some turtles. They grow in eggs too. And there's a beaver and a dragonfly. Conversations fill the air. Don't you have a peep to share? Wings are whistling overhead. Up they rise, off they fly. Soon you too will cross the sky. For where does every flight begin? Let's see, where do those flights begin? A nest, an egg, a chick like you who picks and pecks and... Oh, do you see him? Picks and picks and pokes right on through. There he is. Meet the pond, greet the sun, say hello to everyone. He's a little bit scraggly right now because he just hatched, but soon he'll be fluffy like his brothers and sisters. The whole wide world is waiting. And that is the end. All right, now I hope you enjoyed reading Shake a Leg Egg with me. You can check this book out from the library. You can get it curbside, put a reserve on it in the catalog, and then drive by the library and pick it up. And there's lots of other great books about chickens and eggs and goslings and geese here at the library. So next, we're gonna sing one of my favorite songs, but for this song, I needed an egg. So I needed to borrow an egg from our rooster here. He guards the eggs very, very carefully, you know. So, Mr. Rooster, is it okay if I borrow an egg? <gasps> he said, yes, thank goodness, because you know, roosters can be a little bit mean and I wouldn't want him to come chasing me if I took the egg without permission. It's always important to ask for permission before you borrow something. All right, Mr. Rooster, you come over here and I've got an egg. This is not just any regular egg. This is a shaky egg. Let's listen, ready? Can you hear it shaking? Now, if you have a shaky egg at home, you can shake it with me. You can, if you want, you can pause this and go run and get the egg and then come back. If you don't have a shaky egg, you can make this at home really easily. You just get one of those plastic eggs that they should have at the grocery store soon. And you can fill it up with some rice and then your mom or dad can wrap it all around with duct tape. And then you have a shaky egg. So it's pretty easy to make one, but if not, you can just clap or shake your hands with me. Okay, ready? Here we go. This is Shaky Egg by Lori Berkner. This is one of my favorite songs. Here we go. Oh, I know. You guys, I forgot to tell you. This is very important. You have to repeat. So when I point to you, you're going to repeat what I said. It's a call and repeat song. Here we go. Oh, I know a chicken. And she laid an egg. Oh, I know a chicken, and she laid an egg. Oh my goodness! It's a shaky egg! Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up! Shake it down, shake it down, shake it down. Shake it to the side, shake it to the other side, and shake it all around and stop! Oh, I know a chicken, and she laid an egg. Oh, I know a chicken, and she laid an egg. Oh my goodness! It's a shaky egg! Shake it back, shake it back, shake it back! Shake it slow. Shake it up and down, and side to side, and stop. Good job, you guys. That was excellent. Now we're gonna sing one more song together before we say goodbye. We're going to sing about chickens laying eggs. So we need to use our fingers for this. Are you ready? Do you have all your fingers? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, five there. One, Two, three, four, five. 
vibe there. And you could always use other things. You don't have to use your fingers. You could use toes. You could use something that you have in your house, maybe some pennies or pens or anything you have around. You don't have to use your fingers. Here we go. Five chicks and five chicks and that makes 10. Sitting on top is the mother hen. Back, back, back. Crack, crack, crack. <gasps> the eggs crack open and out pop 10. There they are. Good job, you guys. All right, next, I'm gonna show you the craft that you can make to go with today's story time. Uh, for today's craft, it's pretty easy. You're gonna get a piece of paper and you're gonna get an egg. So what you're gonna do is you're going to draw an animal in here that could hatch from an egg. It can be whatever kind of animal you want that hatches from an egg. So it could be a bird or a reptile or a fish, anything you want. I tried a dinosaur. That's what I did at home when I was practicing on this one. And then you're going to cut your egg in half, crack, 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 like a little hatching egg. And you'll glue the bottom half there and the top half coming off this head. And that makes your craft for today. Thank you so much for joining me at Storytime today. Don't forget, if you want to check out that book from the library, it's called Shake a Leg Egg. Let's sing goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you soon. On another day. See you next time. <laughs>